Hey there, thank you so much for watching. It is almost eight o'clock on Saturday, April 30th. It is the last day of April and I know, I realize I have not put up a video in April. I have no good excuse. I've just um, uh, been lazy. Uh, so last year I did uh, vlog every day in April and this year I vlogged, I, I videoed no days in April. Um, and I had, again, I had no good excuse. I um, have been walking through some rough water and it's just, uh, there's, again, there's no excuse for not keeping up. I just, um, <laughs> do you see like the, the bottle of wine <laughs> behind me? Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what to say. Um, so I'll talk about sort of my work, my financial and my personal lives really quickly. Um, just kind of an update. Work has been intense. I work in uh, customer acquisition and we do marketing on behalf of healthcare and insurance companies and... Um, I, my work is, is, um, I, uh, the volume is just a lot. It's not super heavy now that I look back on it, but I have a very steep learning curve. And so I'm working with a new, a new, uh, division within my company. And I just, it takes me a long time to learn something, but once I have, I learn it, I have it cold. And this month there was just a lot of work that was coming my way, a lot of new work. So I figured I could either like cry about it or step up my game. So I stepped up my game. And what that meant for me was waking up earlier to run my reports first thing in the morning rather than waiting and having to struggle through them during the workday. So that was a huge help, but it just took a lot of my attention and focus and energy. Um, the second thing, so how my work, um, my finances were impacted by my work was we moved offices um, to a renovated space at the beginning of the month and it's beautiful, but where I sit, I'm very exposed. Like everything's glass and I sit right by the executive suite. So like the CEO and the owner of the company and the uh, vice presidents are all like in that area. And I remember one day I was like sitting at my cubicle and I was wearing um, a blazer that had seen better days when I bought it from Goodwill. It's this like tan linen uh, thing from Old Navy <laughs> that's like frayed and like coming apart. I like it because the color and the style kind of suit me, but it's just, it's, it's trash. And I was wearing that and I was like, oh my gosh, like I do, I'm not projecting a competent professional image right now. So... I'm like trying to hide through the rest of the day. And the next day I like went out immediately to H&M and bought like a bunch of, of updated sort of workwear things. Um, I didn't go too crazy, but again, that was spending that wasn't really planned, but I felt like that was um, in line with sort of where I am in my career right now because I wanted to um, reflect the desire that they had been, uh, the skills that I had been gaining and I wanted to project a, a more competent professional image <laughs> oh, just because that's um that was important so that's um some that had an effect on my finances um and again it was like planned spending and I said okay this is my budget I gave myself a budget of about two hundred dollars because I usually buy two or three times during the year and that's it and I had sort of a set clothing balance uh budget so that but that had an effect and it wasn't planned at the beginning of the month it was kind of mid-month after we made this move and I realized it. I was like okay um and so I didn't really um, have time to adjust, um, so clothing and groceries were, were kind of higher because I also re-upped my Costco membership this month. Um, so that was a little bit, uh, that's a little bit on the finance front. I also am paying that um, added housing expense, which I am uh, happy to do. It's just kind of an added um, factor, that uh, element that I have to factor in. Um, so talking about, finally, the, the personal aspect, um, I have something on my heart and it's kind of an ongoing um, uh, petition that I've had since the beginning of last year, like right after I started my debt-free journey, I, it, it, this um, petition came up and it's beautiful and, and lovely. It's just, it's so frustrating to me because I have no visibility into it. Um, I have what I think and what I hope in my heart is the case, um, but I don't know. And this month was particularly intense there because I had no information, if that makes sense. Um, it was just, it was a, a difficult month and sometimes you have them and you just got to kind of struggle through. Um, but, and I, I think about the videos that have helped me and I just, I, I want to be plucky and optimistic um, and hopeful. So that's kind of state of the union. This is my April video. Like I wanted to have a video in April. Um, hoping to get back into that regular Saturday morning schedule because that really worked for me. I don't know if that was, a, if you guys liked seeing updates on Saturdays, but that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, so thank you again so much for sticking with me. And if you haven't already would like to, please subscribe. would love to have you along for the journey. Thank you so much and see you again soon, hopefully. Bye.